Hey, what's going on, guys? How all we're doing? Welcome to a new video tutorial on the series of building desktop applications using Electron or HTML, CSS, JavaScript. With y'all, we are actually in the last video tutorial. So if you haven't watched the last one, make sure to watch them before end of the series. And obviously, in today's one, we're going to talk about the build or building and packaging your application. So if you have been like developing your application for quite a long time so for now, and you are wondering how can I like just ship my application and just because it's cross platform and they are all saying cross platform, how can I make it or like build this for a specific or cross platforms for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X? So there's like a couple of third parties things and there's the legit thing. So for the legit from Electrons, like the Electrons basic thing or the electron official binaries you can use it but it's very very hard method i don't really really recommend using that but there's also on another third party thing like electron packager and electron builder which is the one we're going to use today is the electron builder so you, it's free and open source and github available and also available in npm so all you need to do is just npm uh install so npm install electron dash builder and make sure to save it as dev uh, it's very like very very sensitive thing so make sure to save as dev and boom and start i've already done this like thing i've already installed that and try some kind of build thing to make sure that everything is working fine rather than just happening with errors or facing errors at the middle of nowhere so all you need to do on, on the lecture builder actually is to set up your package.json so all you know is the package.json is available from the npm or the node.js so you need to edit that to suit or for the build configurations and how can you how can you actually know about the build configurations it is by going to the um uh, let me give you give me a second actually here so all you need to do is go into the electron.build this is like the official build documentation electron builder documentation this introduction and this is the configuration you can use on your package.json for creating applications that suits your need and there's also the cross platform supporting here like more mac os x and the build thing and also windows and says apx and the linux so we're going to talk about about this in in a second in here but for the uh, electron builder you can read through all of this kind of things and it's gonna tell you really really nice uh, information that you really need to know before starting and deploying your application you can also use yuan to install electron builder and after installing that you're gonna need to either the build configuration on your package.json so and also make sure to add the version and author thing so let me just show you that in here if you go and to the package.json make sure to add the name of your application because it's really important and the name like make sure to do not include spaces in here or special characters in here also the main like the main executable file or your main.js file where all the logic is gonna happen and your like main process is gonna start on and make sure to add it in here as well for the version also added like a custom version for the application I'm here just using 1.0.0 because like the very basic or very first release in here and also the author i'm just adding a slam penis in here make sure to add an author and the very least thing is the license so i'm just using mit like open source thing you can use whatever but yeah this is what the basic stuff in uh, you need to include in here also the other thing is the build so here's the build is going to tell electron builder how to build it from the like ansys or the uh, specific install it's gonna use and also the product name the directory where it's gonna put all your builds and stuff everything is going to be put in here or it's gonna depend on this build configuration so first starts with the app ID so if you go to the documentation official one gonna find the app ID or if you are familiar with Java so this is like the packages thing and how you can package your your like application and you use a specific package name it all start with a com and then your company name let's for for example use IPNUS in here and then at last you use your or you put your application name and here I'm just gonna put a simple app in here so the other thing is we're gonna put here directory and this directory is gonna just like customize where it's gonna put it for by default electron builder specifies the distribution so let me just uh, delete this build because i've been trying that for for the last couple of minutes so for as i've said for the default uh, directory for the for electron builder sorry it gonna use the distribution folder so uh, since we have the distribution folder already uh, in EUs on our projects we're not gonna need to overwrite the files into that folder in here all we need is to change this so we're gonna put the output 
attribute in here and change it. I'm gonna put the build folder in here and under the build folder I'm gonna just create another one in here under my project and call it build and all those kind of files and the install are gonna exist on this build folder so make sure to select yours in a very specific manner in here and also there is like a couple of things if you go to the uh, configuration make sure to check the configuration because it has every single configuration available in there as I've said the up name and also you can customize your up name in here and scroll all the way down as you can see the directories you can build the resources outputs and the app the applications like the applications default name and here for another thing we want to choose is the product name so the product name is the same as the name in here but it differs from that you can use like special characters and spaces and all of this kind of things and this is like the official name and how like your 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 application is going to be named once the user installs it since or on on his machine so let me just put like electron test test up and that should do the job for us you can use also special characters like this or something like that and also the directories go back to the documentation but for if you are wondering about plus plus for right now like for mac os x and linux since i'm using windows you know it's just gonna build it for windows because it has like the sources or, or the api of windows so we're just gonna use that to build only for windows it can't build it for mac os x because it's going to need the Mac OS X configuration. So you need to build it from the Mac OS X or an OS X machine. And also for Linux, you need to build it from a Linux machine or a Linux distribution. It's gonna be very simple for Linux, but for Mac, you need to have like a, a proper MacBook or something. So this can be like a little bit challenging, you know? And you know, a lot of people can have access in this, so you can do it. Also for Windows, there's a couple of con uh, configurations. So if you are intending to make yours like an installer, you can use Ansys. Uh, also there is Ansys, UpX, and Squirrel. I really recommend going and choosing Ansys. Squirrel is deprecated and it's gonna be removed in the last or in the next releases, hopefully, and UpX isn't that good at all. So Ansys is the greatest choice for you so use ansys and also you can check out ansys from the distribute or from the uh, like official page and check out where is ansys and ansys is just gonna allow you like customize your installer so the when you when you like try to install your application or the user tries to install the application you're, like, you're gonna like find a pop-up up there or the user gonna have a pop-up and where you can like choose the directory you want to install uh, what's what about information about this like application one 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 click install or something like this So all of this kind of things you can edit it using the ANSYS So just go into the ANSYS configurations and boom you're gonna find everything in here So for adding the ANSYS actually you can go ahead and add the targets attribute in here So just choose targets and just put ANSYS in here. So ANSYS this is gonna do like the build configurations for us as I've said they cover the convert the the directories and also there is one other thing you can choose for the ANSYS configuration. So go back, you can see this ANSYS configuration, like one click installer and the per machine or per user and also allow to change installation directory. So we can just copy all of this kind of things and also go all the way back in here and out of the ANSYS configuration. So ANSYS and an object and allow configuration. So let me just do this and let me just set this to true and the one click so one click installer one click is just you click and the installer gonna do all of this job it's gonna allow you it's not gonna go into allow you to change the installation or the default installation directory just gonna install it for you on the default one and you under your specific machines things like windows program files and stuff like this so for one click i'm just gonna set it false and that gonna do actually the job for us so you can also check a lot of like other resources and uh, configurations in here like how to add the basic or specific or custom thumbnail for your installer stuff like this yada 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 but we don't need this for now you can check more in-depth advanced ansys thing because it's advanced or ansys is just very big configuration for windows thing so you have to check it before can do a lot of things with it so this is like a basic or very very actually basic setup you can use right out of the box so all you need to do right now is add the distribution script under here so what does the distribution script actually do is gonna like build 
our, our application and put it into the build folder that we have just created in here. So on the distribution, electron, dash builder, and boom, everything's gonna, by, by calling the npm run distribution, everything's gonna be okay over here. So let me just create the screen again, npm, well, let me just go ahead and take this apart. So npm run distribution, and here we should wait for our application to get built. So you're gonna see all of this build configuration and the target machine. And also another thing I wanna mention for Windows user, this is gonna build it for like uh, the both x62 or x64 and x32 bits. So both of them are covered under the ANSYS configuration. That's why I am really recommending you using the ANSYS configuration. If you're not familiar with all this kind of configuration and stuff, you need to check this before like, can, or you can like build your application and ship it right out of the box from Electron. Now after the build has gone successfully done, we can just go ahead and reveal an explorer, go into the build and we find all of the applications in here, or our application actually. So here we find the installer and here the win impacts thing. So you can use it right out of the box or you can just distribute your, or your installer here for the user who wants to install this on his machine. You just can double click this. I don't know why my device is interception in here, but let me just close this one and it's going to re... re Put in here also as you can see this our install you can customize however you want like anyone who uses this computer or only me let's use the first one then you're gonna get like administrator things you're gonna get administrator things so and also here are the where to install your electron application just click install and the install gonna like go ahead and finish it so gonna copy all of the related files. You can also edit your customized thumbnail here. Now finish, run the Electra test application and it should run for us now how. And the application now is installed on our machine and working just absolutely fine. For the other class platforms or for the other available platforms, it's also gonna work absolutely fine. So I guess this was pretty much it guys. I really hope you enjoyed working with Electrine for like this couple of last tutorials and also this one for like packaging and all these kind of things. That was very, very fun. And that was also very, very nice for me to make you or like offer you the help in here. So thank you guys for watching again. I will catch you in the next series or hopefully in the next video.